I've been asked more than once about how to do uh, scrolling menus in Bootstrap Studio. Okay, so scrolling menus, this is my site and it works something like this. So if you go to contact, uh, that's your contact uh, form. Latest work goes to here, about and all that type of thing. So that's basically what a scrolling menu is. You don't have to have it as a one page, you can have it as a as many pages as you want, but it has to be either a long page or a, a one page affair. So anyway, this can actually, this video can take a little while, so I hope, uh, hope I don't take up too much time. Anyway, so we'll start off by putting in a row. And we just, no, we'll start off with nav bar. So we just put that in there. Okay. Um, we're going to put about uh, a gallery and a contact page. So th this won't be a work and example of a contact or anything like that, uh, a form or anything like that. This is just basically of how to do your scrolling menus. So anyway, we'll look for row now. And we just pop that in there. Okay. So with, the, um, with this, let's convert the HTML and this uh this uh scroll menus would be much much easier if we had something uh like word drop in bootstrap studio uh they've actually getting back to me the developers and said they're going to put that in try to put it in the next uh, upgrade and they totally agree because it's it's not really it, it is so much easier if you have a word drop on anyway so in, when you do this uh for your row we're just going to put in uh, an h1 tag uh, what's h2 h1 and that's going to put about us and there we go with that so this is basically what that is there about us um so i think that needs to uh pad it out a bit but anyway so that's I'll just uh, pad that a bit div row uh, padding left oops must have getting something wrong there padding left doing my brain's not working today come on padding I just put padding and I put something like five percent Okay, so there's your pattern there. Back to your custom code. And in this here, we can put, I don't know what any, it, it would be up to you what you put in this. But what I'm going to do is just going to put some lorem ipsum in. So I'm going to put some uh, lorem ipsum in here. Pinch some from this, this here. So just, uh, you'll see what happens then. Okay, oh, control V again. Okay, apply that and we'll look at this in the preview. Okay, I'm using Microsoft Edge and that's basically what you would probably see on that. Okay, um, the next step is basically to add um, a carousel. Um, so we look for Carousel. I think there's other um, things on Bootstrap Studio that would do do the uh, image galleries and stuff like that. So this is what you have here, and we just prove that as well. I'm not going to put pictures in because that will be up to you what you do. Okay, so there's your carousel there. Um, so what we're going to do there is just we find the carousel. Again, convert to HTML, edit code, and what I want there is just, I think I'll style this and just have some padding uh, at the top there, padding uh, top, and I'll just make that 10 pixels, okay, so that should be okay and go back to custom code and 
what I want to put in there as well is a, an H1 tag just saying gallery okay again um, H1 and we just apply that so now we have open in browser so there you have your gallery here about us I'll just uh, make that a bit neater by um, I want to say that putting I think I said 5% for that so I'll just uh, put in 5% or I could just take that out and put 5% in padding and then that should be okay let's have a look at this okay now the galleries it's it's a little bit to the left up but anyway um and then you need your contact form in so um just have a look at that see what style I don't really anyway um, the next thing that you need is your contact form so um, contact form and we'll put that underneath okay so we'll see what that thing says and uh, see if that's okay I'll just knock these down okay so about us gallery and now you've got your contact us okay so this is um, obviously this is all what you could do yourself it's it's this is just a, a demonstration of what what you can do um, but how you get this is I'll just put contact convert HTML again and edit code and again you're gonna have your um put h1 there i think in between that h1 uh, contact us um oops i forgot the slash h1 okay just put that on there and now you have Again, you can put yours in the middle, uh, your about us, your gallery, and your contact us. That's you can put that wherever you want. Um, you know, I mean, like sort of again, if you have any questions, as I say, always get back in touch, and that's that'll be fine. So the bit of how obviously this isn't working where you put second item, third item, because the third item would be contacting you, not. That's not uh, going to that. Now this is uh, this can be a little bit of a tricky one. This, but anyway. So when we when we see this uh, the nav, okay, the nav bar. Um, I usually go into um, HTML, don't I? But I think you can actually put about. Uh, yeah, about about us. Okay. Um, the next one you can put in um, gallery and the third one you can put contact All right contact okay right so for this um, right it's gonna be edit there Let's see if we can. I always find it easier for me just to go into uh, into the editor. <laughs> it's just it's it's uh, for me it's so much easier. But anyway, edit code. And why is that not taken? Oh dear. Come on. Okay, right. I think that's first one must be the navbar it is okay so navbar right this is this is pretty tricky this is um what you have here 
is you have um, your brand there. Okay, right. This is what I'm saying about the the word wrap. If you don't have it, it's, oh, it makes it so much more difficult. Anyway, you got your about us. I found that now. Um, another thing that could have on Bootstrap Studio is a, a find and replace thing as well. So you got href there. Okay, so you go on there and you can put about. Okay, now this hashtag um, is a must for um, doing this. These one pages are the long pages. And another one is we'll put gallery, which is called gallery. Okay, and this is a little bit like I am um, CSS in your IDs, calling your IDs and that. Okay, um, contact. And I think when I used when I was first learning all this stuff, I think it was before CSS, but I'm, I might be mistaken. Um, so I'm not sure if it was a, a fully CSS thing, or it's uh, CSS is just taking the idea of this part of the hashtag and the ID. So when you um, you always call them IDs and hashtags within each other, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so <laughs> I just wish this was like an HTML um, full page, so you could actually see basically what I'm doing, which is it's it's not that easy. Anyway, so we've got we've got all that right. So we're going to go to about, um, and what we do with that? So that hashtag calls the about. Okay, so uh, where are we at with um, is it this one? Right about. Okay. So here we have to. I'm going to put an ID in. Okay, so it's ID equals your about okay so just apply that i'm just letting you see the code as best i can um, and here is gallery okay so if you put h1 again id because you call the hashtag id and this is going to be gallery okay so you apply that and again same thing is a contact us id equals contact okay now the general thing is is i just hope this works <laughs> all right um so we're just going to have a look at this preview one Open browser okay so here's your here's your web page and gallery okay so it's got a gallery and so i just Go to contact okay so that's working so when you when you're doing this and you need help on this you know i'm i'm there really it's it's not an easy thing to do it's uh if, if this is the first time you've ever done it it's not an easy thing to do this because you can get really bamboozled in your head and all the rest of it okay so obviously with that when you when you're doing that so you're going to contact Okay, but the the nav bar isn't coming down there, so it's not sticky. It's just you you left. If this was UX design, this would be terrible UX design. Although a lot of UX designers are terrible, and they'd be happy with that. But anyway, so we go back to uh, is this is the nav bar. Okay, the nav bar. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to style some stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to put in a nav bar. I'm going to put in um, position fixed. Okay, position fixed. All right. Okay. So now, if we look at this now again, right? Okay. Just do that. Gallery. Okay. And if we do um, Z index, we'll go to the next. Okay, we're going to put that as one, and we'll try that as well. That come on, it's just not preview. Um, oh, my, my system's frozen. Do you dear? Okay, just a minute. I'll just see if that works. 
Z index. Okay, so now with that Z index, what's going on is that a lot of UX designers, especially who are not web designers or developers, get this wrong, is they leave people high and dry. You've got to put a Z index because what you're doing then is you're seeing um, underneath and in, in your in this bit here, you, you kind of see your nav bar. So what you're doing is you have to put that Z index so you're seeing it all the time, okay? Um, now the next thing you've got to do is you've got to put your width and you've got to put that at 100%. All right. I mean, this is not the only way you can do this. You can do it in many different ways. But this is, this is the one way that we're doing here. Okay. So now that's stretched out. And it stretched out a bit far, but if, um, so now you can see exactly what's going on. This is a bit, it needs to go up on top of the demonstration. Now you can see everything you see. Gallery, there's your gallery. About us, about us, and again, this would be, needs to go to the top actually. Uh, contact and gallery. So everything's working as it should be. And that is basically how you do um, your scrolling menus. And if I can just um, just get this to the top uh, margin, I don't know actually what's wrong with it, but I'll just put margin in there and just have another look. Uh, no, it's not, but I'll just put in, um, you can have negative numbers, you see minus 40 picks there right so i'll just put that in at 90. i've actually because of the word drop i've actually made a bit of a mistake there because it's oh, it's, it's such a nuisance that i cannot say exactly what i'm doing uh but of course they're going to sort that out okay we'll just put that in 90 percent all right okay so if we put this now and we looked at that and i'll just put the uh the thing at 90 percent but you see what i'm trying to see it now you can see more and i'll just put that a little bit more uh put that at minus 70 pixels okay and this is of course just a demonstration and that's gone overboard minus 60 pixels but now that's about right okay so you'll see this now as uh, as it should be really so you got your contact you got your gallery you got your about and that is basically how you do uh, scrolling menus another little trick that um, I'm not sure if I can actually put it in here um, is some um, jQuery and if I could, um, you see with the HTML editor being what it is, uh, I've got some jQuery that will go in so it just slides up and down. Um, for example, if I just export that and just browse to the desktop, I'll just put scroller, select folder, scroller path does not exist. No, but the desktop does do not select okay export your design was exported okay so just bring that down um so you can see the index okay i'll just put this into uh i'm gonna open it it's it's a little bit uh freeze there well, my computer completely froze, um, so anyway, we have to get back to this uh, thing here. So now that I've exported um, this document, this is what you'll see. There's your contact, gallery, and about us. Um, there's a little flaw in this menu thing. I, I must have touched or tweaked something, uh, um, but it's, it's basically, it's easy to fix that. Um, anyway, so what we want to do really to, to make the the, um, the page scroll and slide is um, a bit of jQuery 
and I've got this on my site um, so all it would be um, it's not something I programmed I've got to say I don't I don't know who it is it's an old it's an old slider thing anyway in my HTML editor I've got this and where that goes is just underneath um, the uh, just before the body okay <clears throat> so just file save that all right um, and in this there will be a problem because I've spotted this before with um, it's actually in the contact so anyway that'll slide okay like it's supposed to but that doesn't go where when the jQuery wasn't there it went to there which is supposed to go you see the jQuery works there with gallery and it also works there with about us and what, what the um, hashtag and the ID do is it goes to where that is. So, for example, about us. So, it goes to there. So, it covers that. goes to gallery. And then it goes to contact us. So, that's what the menu does. Um, but, of course, like I say, this is a problem on here, which it shouldn't go like that. So, this is where I would always say for people to be able to um, code that is when you run into problems and it doesn't matter how how much you do um, what you see what you get things you do run into problems and it's as simple as that okay this is the the code uh, for this contact form where the um, where it's supposed to go to okay so the fix um, for this is just copy that and I'll just come out of there and we'll put it away just before the form closes or even before the div closes but I'll just put it, yeah just put where the div closes okay the div which is the form div all right okay so what we do there is we take out the contact and ID from that all right so you're still left with the h1 tag and you contact us but that's gone out of there at the bottom there so what you're going to do is you're just going to have nothing there so it's contact us is gone okay so i hope this works i'm sure it will um so you just file save that okay preview in your last browser okay now so this is uh the litmus test contact and there you have it and that um, you see if this menu bar was right against the top there that would be spot on gallery all right about us and there's your scrolling menu so I hope uh, hope you've learned something from that I know it's a long thing and it isn't it isn't there's uh, much easier things in web design um, than this, but it does, uh, it really is a nice slick thing when you can get it right. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening again.